So I'm here with Jordan Harvey, and uh, this is my million dollar set you guys uh, set up for me. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And uh, yeah, we got a couple questions, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start off. Thanks for being here, first of all. Yeah, is this segment called Beta Time? <laughs> this is the, the Beta Time beta right time, here. The infamous Beta Time. <laughs> Only the players in the locker room know. Inside joke. You'll, uh, you'll hear more about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's go back to Saturday, and uh, I think a special moment for you, walking out with Harlow. Uh, you know, how did it feel? Um, it was awesome. Um, I've missed the opportunity a couple times in the, in the last couple years since she's been born. And so um, this opportunity presented itself. Uh, Jeff uh, brought it to me, our uh, team administrator, and, and it worked out perfectly with the Columbus game, with it being women's night. I know Mia Hamm came out before the game, so that was really cool. Um, and then walking out with her, just a special moment is something, um, you know, as a defender, I don't have a lot of accomplishments, but my daughter is definitely one of them. And uh, walking out with her was something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Yeah, and did, did she behave herself? Did she uh, enjoy it now? She behaved herself, <laughs> but she was like, I was trying to distract her the entire time. I was like, look, Beta's up there, so wave to Beta, <laughs> wave to Walker. Um, but she just wanted mom yeah. at the end of the day, and that's all she said. And then. Um, mom was on the sidelines, so then she saw mom, started crying. I don't know if she's on the jumbotron crying, but um, yeah, it was, it was, it, it worked out. It was uh, something that we can laugh about when she gets a little older. We got uh, a couple opportunities with LAFC, and uh, one of the things that we both did was we went on James Corden. So uh, you know, kind of going back to that moment and uh, that opportunity that we had with him. What were your thoughts on that, and who do you think would be the best, maybe, late night uh, host? <laughs> um, I think the most entertaining would be Benny, but he would probably be kicked off the air pretty quickly. Um, and then, oh man, probably Laurent would be pretty good late night. Um, but yeah, I mean, going back to that experience, it was really cool. Not just uh, going on the show, but then doing the soccer bit um, weeks before. That feels like a year ago, by the way. Um, but yeah, yeah, when Will Ferrell like tries to get you on the show with James Corden, you're like, oh my god, this is surreal. And so just meeting Will and then James and being on the show was really cool. And I just we, we did the bit where we shot it at James Corden. And I was just trying to like not miss the target. I know we made this yeah. side bet before we went on. We we're like, if anybody misses, they're bringing coffees the next day. So nobody missed, which was uh, kind of the ultimate goal there. But that was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, that was definitely fun, and I was shocked when uh, when Will hit the target. Like, legit, <laughs> first try, I was impressed. Put a lot of pressure on us, though, yeah. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the coffees at that point were like, oh, who like, cares about oh coffee? God, got... Our owner's hitting the target. We're like, all right, pressure's on now. That was cool, though. Um, so, I know outside of soccer, I know you well, and something that you enjoy doing is playing the guitar. So, for you, you guys out there, you didn't know he's quite the guitar player. Uh, what kind of music do you like to play? First off, I'm like <laughs> such a, a wannabe uh, musician. It's not even funny. And I'm not a great guitar player, but if I go on YouTube, YouTube is an amazing uh, teacher. Um, I can learn pretty much anything. So um, I like playing a lot of Jack Johnson, Ben Harper, just the acoustic stuff that I grew up listening to. And then um, anything my wife will sing to um, is what I'll play because um, I have no voice whatsoever. And so uh, any of my um, flaws, guitar-wise, she makes up for with her voice. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing she's got a good voice. Yeah, the guitar, no, I'm just kidding, you're a good player. <laughs> um, all right, we'll take you away from uh, the guitar playing, but let's go one question about soccer. Uh, we got the Philadelphia Union coming up. Um, we're going to Bank of California, where we love to play, obviously. We got a good little record there. We'll try to keep that going. What can the fans expect to see from us? I think more the same. Um, at home, we're going to attack teams. And um, you know, looking at Philly, they've got a lot of dangerous players. I think they've won a couple games in a row now, playing with a lot of confidence. They won their last game 4-0 against Vancouver. Um, so I'm assuming they'll be coming in with the same lineup. Um, you know, as a, a defender, you kind of look at the player you're going to be going up against. and so. Uh, in particular, watching that game, I, I paid attention to Ilsenio, who's a really crafty player on the dribble, really good feet, so that's something that um, we'll have to be aware of. Um, and then Sapong, just powerful up top. But um, the good thing about this club and about Bob is that we really focus on ourselves. And I've been on clubs where we adjust to a team, 
Um, but this club, this LAFC, we're really on the front foot, um, putting pressure on teams, really trying to control the game, which I love. And it's something that uh, we'll do game in, game out, and that's going to be no different against Philly.